Good afternoon, I'm Peter Overton. We're about to bring you the latest news from the Reserve Bank as it hands down its monthly decision on interest rates to take us through it all. The Nine Networks Finance Editor Ross Greenwood. Ross, still plenty of movement in the nation's two biggest housing markets. Where do you think they will sit today? Yeah, there is an indeed housing market. Numbers came out today which showed Melbourne in particular is very, very strong along with Sydney. Now, this rate decision today is expected to be on hold. In fact, probably for at least the next 12 months, if not longer. But the interesting move is the dollar. And we can see right now that the Reserve Bank has left the cash rate unchanged at those uh, record lows of 1.5%. The interesting part about this is the dollar, Peter. Just coming into this, the dollar sat at 80 and a quarter US cents. Normally, if that were the case, the Reserve Bank would be cutting interest rates. But it said it will not cut interest rates. But by the same token, it can't afford to raise interest rates because the economy is so slow. The Reserve Bank today says there are some signs the housing market is starting to cool. And also, in some markets, it's actually rising still briskly. But what it's basically saying is that there's a broad-based pickup in global economic growth. But it does say also one caveat for Australian households, household debt right now is basically outpacing the overall growth in our economy right now. So in other words, there's no move for the, for, the, for now, there's no move for the, for the near term. But the thing to watch is that Australian dollar, because if it rises too fast, that'll put pressure on the Reserve Bank, potentially to cut, even though they don't want to. OK. So there you have it. We'll leave it there, repeating the Reserve Bank has decided to leave rates on hold at 1.5%. Our next bulletin coming up at 3 o'clock. The afternoon news is at 4 and then the major news bulletins across the country tonight at 6 o'clock. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon.